Well, welcome back. And uh, as we've been saying throughout this broadcast, as part of the Broadcasting Digital Migration Project, uh, Communications Minister Faith Mutambi is today rolling out implementation, the set-top boxes. We're at the house of Dani Maria Slingers, who's going to receive the first set-top box, and you'll be able to compare uh, from when we were watching analog and then see the transition to when we'll be watching digital. Quite exciting stuff, and we'd like to bring the minister in now. A very warm welcome to you, minister. Hello, Disri. Hello, greetings to the viewers there at home. I imagine an exciting day for you. Indeed, it's a very exciting day for all of us in the country. We are launching the first top box manufactured here in the country. So we'll be handing over the set of boxes and then that's going to change the life of Tani Bundles in the sense that she's going to see clear television access because you know here the SKE people have been struggling to have access to television. So this is going to change the life of Tani. You're talking about the SKN. This is a square kilometre array. It's another huge project that uh, South Africa is undertaking. And there is a backstory to why your first uh, rollout is starting here in the SKA area. And here we're going to bring in Silayelo to tell us about why Silayelo is, is from the, the SA, SKA project. Silayelo, good morning to you. Good morning, Desiree. Good morning to the viewers. Why is it important that the SKA area is fully covered in terms of digitization? Uh, the SKA is a radio telescope. A radio telescope uses the radio frequency just like the television uses the radio frequency. And because of the radio frequency interference whereby two radio stations and or two televisions cannot be at the same frequency, the Minister of Communications decided to protect the SKA radio telescope by using technologies that will not interfere with the SKA radio telescope. Minister, what Salado is saying is quite important in that this process is not just about digitization. It's about being compliant with rules all over the world, number one. Number two, it's about creating skills because there will be manufacturing in South Africa how were you able in this time to cover all these bases? Yes, that's why now here in the Northern Cape, we are forcing everybody to migrate. That means test here doesn't apply. What we require from people locally here is for them to go to the post office and register so that we are able to account for the boxes because we've got the responsibility to protect the SK area. That's why we've prioritized this area because we want everybody to migrate. We don't want the work of the SKA to be interfered with our television and all this kind of thing. That's the reason why we are here and we want to force everybody here to migrate. So please, people of Northern Cape, in particular Kimis and Kakamas, go to the post office and register so that we'll be able to hand you over free set of box. The beauty about them here, yeah, whether they afford or can afford, they are all going to get free set of boxes in so our uh, universal access. Definitely, definitely. Let's quickly talk about the fact that it's not just about television. It's about broadband access, it's about radio, it's a whole spectrum of telecommunication services. It's true. And then we are trying to save the bandwidth, to save it with limited one because with DTT then you can do multiple of services. The beauty about it now, like you have indicated, people once we finish to migrate, then we'll be able to release spectrum. Remember that we are lagging behind in terms of broadband access. So that thing is a basic right. We want each and everybody in the country to have to access to telecommunication, have access to government services, and you do it through this digital migration in the sense that then people will have choices about their lives because there will be more content, they will be able to make decisions that affect their life through this project. Thank you so much for talking to us. I know we're going to be bringing you in again later on on the show where we'll have an actual display of switching on the DT, um, the set-top box and see the transition from analog to digital. That's quite exciting for me. I don't know about you at home, but please stay with us as we continue with this broadcast.